Well, it's that time again. Um, yes, apparently they put timers on our heaters, and this office gets pretty cold because they're using energy efficient crap now that's not heating the place up. It took about a whole day, finished up with some phone wiring downstairs, and I just got done with that and found a couple of broken monitors on display so I'll probably have to go run around downstairs to see what I can fix on Sunday. I'm still here in LA. Um, got back last week from Hot Rod Wolf's place. Awesome fellow. Fix engines. Surprisingly he's not an engineer. He knows a lot about engines and him and I, I think we could really really hit it off if we can. You know, maybe it's time to do a career change. I don't know. The inflates community seems to be kind of daunting. I've not had any major sales lately, but okay. I have a lot of overstock, so I'm going to be focusing on that. I may start another project, but there's a very limitation. This project's going to be, if it's a pre-order, it'll be exclusively done through my site. If it's a stock, I ra rarely will probably sell stuff on eBay because they want 14 to 15 freaking percent. Second two, they only give a small amount of discount, but you have to go through their payment gateway, which pretty much for those of you who keep screwing eBay, the rest of us honest people have to pay now. So, and I don't really want to bring it up on eBay anymore because of that crap. I mean, maybe down the road, if I have a high ticket item, high ticket, as Merrick would say, put up on eBay and let it go for some ungodly amount because I don't want to deal with eBay itself taking 14% when the product value of mine is not high enough to even take it as a gain. I'm losing money every time. Heck, I lost money doing the plesio drinks. I lost money holding stock for the Amherst Albino Gators. Um, I had to sell one in order to try to make the, make the payment for that. Yes, I have a freaking day job, but that's none of your business how much I make and my business makes. Business doesn't like that I publish on my sign behind me the kilobucks per year. I may even just take that down because this is becoming a game of liberal maniacs. He makes more than you. So what? I don't care. You know what? I work three freaking jobs. I'm constantly investing my money in things to bring the cost down to people, to help people with their problems. But I just get shoved under the bus every time. And this fan, yes, I'm going to be political because the fact that I have the right, I have my First Amendment right to express my feeling to the world. The world right now is in turmoil. There are tons of graffitis downstairs. I got broken into 2019. I have stuff that's, I'm going to call it irreplaceable at this point because the fact that I've been waiting two years for a replacement and I've gotten to see no signs of it, even though a, a year ago this same person said, she w he was uh, in the middle of making the scale. So I don't know what I can get now moving forward because I'm kind of in a turmoil position in my life where I have a lot of cool stuff and I enjoy my stuff, but I can't keep it here at the office. Honestly, I need a place to move all my stuff. I, got, I can't keep it at my house as my house is being sold. I got screwed there, so I'm just going to sell that house and hopefully, hopefully it makes value so I can actually... Um, maybe move to another state, who knows, whatever the case is. I just want to get out of here. I want to take my stuff with me. And um, as, as a good person would just simply say, I just want to get back to normal. Um, COVID has been nothing but a mess. It's been stupid of a mess. It's been, what we call it, upscaled. What is it? Upplayed too much. It's stupid. I've seen so much. I've seen through the masks. I've seen through all this garbage which is why I keep asking my maker, can you make the matching tail and all the stuff for me? Whatever bullshit. So, okay, I hear everyone. You trans, that's your problem. You trans, I confuse a male, female. I'll try to get it right, but you need to be with me long enough for me to remember. I would be appreciated if some of the stuff I create gets promoted, retweeted, whatever the case is, but this is my 50 cents, and that's pretty much my quick discussion for the next Three minutes. So anyhow, that's pretty much the nutshell. I have a couple of projects on hold. We've got a few guys asking me for some tech projects. I'm debating on working on his. I might send a formal request saying, heck, I know I told you to wait till next month. I told you to wait next month. The problem is, you know, it's hard to find anyone to get stuff made for me. If not, they kind of, yeah, how do you call it? It's whatever. It's, it's switching up and doing this stuff. So I'm getting kind of really annoyed about things. 
And uh, I'm starting to discover the whole world is made of freaking liars. There are liars hiding behind a web camera, apparently. So, and I've about had enough of this. So, meanwhile, I'm going to be going off to other things. So, if you don't see me on for a week or so, I'm probably at a friend's house visiting and trying to catch up on backlogged work. Anyhow, I still help a lot of people that I know, but I'm at the point in my life where why bother unless someone comes forward to help you with something?